Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Visuteo Beading with another Christmas tutorial, this time for a bell. I'm going to show you really slowly and easy step by step, so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you wanna support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And here I have another bell tutorial and I will link it here. It's totally different for totally different bells. And down there in description you will find a full list of materials, Amazon links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you now so much for watching. I will start with the list of the materials. Hey guys, so what I'm using for this video are three colors of 11 0 seed beads and here I use A2 beads. And uh, I'm using these beautiful Christmas colors, but you could choose any different type of colors you like. And here I'm using ear wires, in this case liver bags, but you could use any type of ear wires you like. Here I use fire line, this is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters, but you could use monofilament, the same thickness if you want. And here I use size 10 beading needle scissors and pliers and the pliers are not obligatory in this case in this tutorial only if you need to go through the difficult bits and now i'm going to put about an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay guys and i'm back and i'm going to take eight of these beautiful red beads okay now what I have are these eight beads and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made, pulling and I will make one more knot here And now my circle of beads, of 8 beads, is ready. And I'm going to go through 4 beads in this direction. Okay. Now in my next step I need 6 red beads. Okay, I need 6 here. And now I want to exit I want to go back in circle through two of those beads and you see now I have eight beads again. Circle of eight but I'm using two of my previous element and that is why I'm adding only six. Okay. Now I have these two circles of eight beads that share two beads and I'm going to flip my work like this. And now what I do is that I go through four beads, two beads here and two beads here. Okay. Now I have this. Again, I will repeat the same steps. I will take six of these beautiful red beads. Okay. I have six here and I will go back in circle through these two beads. Again, forming a circle of eight in total. And I'm flipping my work like this. Again, going through four beads in circle, two. And then two more. Okay, guys. And now I'm going to show you once one more time. Okay, I have here six beads, okay, six. I'm going back in circle, flipping my work just to be easier for me. Okay, going like that. And now I have four circles and I'm going to make 
four more circles like this I will have 18 total and then I'll be back okay and now my adding my eighth circle from this row okay and now what I want to do is go through three beads here in this direction through three this time not through four and here I'm going to take six red beads okay I have my six here and I'm going to take my ear wire okay and I'm going to take three more seed beads okay six ear wire three okay and then I go back in circle through this bead here that I'm exiting out of okay now I have this I will flip my work in this direction now what I do is that I go through three beads okay like that now you see from each side of my ear wire I have three beads three beads and here <coughs> I have two beads between my two rows that I'm going to start <coughs> Now I will repeat the same thing from here and in order to do this I will take 7 seed beads and why I'm taking 7? I'm taking 7 here you see because here I will go through one more bead and I will have a circle of 8 again you see this is what I have and now I will continue doing this the same way I did before here in my first step I will go through five beads not through four like I did before because I'm starting it a little bit different and now I'm going to take six seed beads okay I have my six here and I will go back through these two beads okay and pull then again what I do is that I go through four beads two from this side two from this side and take six Okay, have six and I'm going back in circle through these two forming eight then what I want to do is go through four beads okay going through four beads and I'm going to take six more okay I have six and I'm going back in circle through these two beads just like that then again two and two more okay guys and now here I have four circles but I need eight circles and in this way this side and this side will be the same and I will make four more circles like this and I'll be back okay guys and I'm making here my eighth circle and what I want to do next is reinforce this part here just going around through all of my beads okay and now I will go here after this bead okay and what I want to do next is take 14 golden beads
Okay, and now I have my 14 here. 4 plus 5 and 5. Okay, and I'm going to slide those down, those 14 beads down. And now I want to go here between those two beads this one and this one okay and I'm pulling now I have the first row of my bell ready okay and after that I'm going through those two beads then through these two at this side then also through those two beads and I want to make a circle and reposition my thread between those two beads that are from the inner side of my element okay now I'm here okay and now here what I need to take are 12 green beads Okay, and I have my 12 here, and I'm sliding those down, like that. And what I need to do is go between those two red beads, from the inner side of my circle. Okay, now guys, I have this, and I will go again in circle in order to reach the place where I will add my next row of beads okay going around through all of my beads here until I reach those two beads that are from the inner side of my circle of eight and I go through one of them and now I'm in a position to add more beads okay I need nine red beads okay I have here my nine beads and I'm going to slide those down and I want to go here between those two red beads from this side okay going between them now I will reposition my thread I will exit here and I'll be back okay and I repositioned my thread you see where I'm exiting and I need seven golden beads okay I have my seven here and I will go between those two red beads and if you can go through some more beads in this direction now I will reposition my thread exit here and I'll be back and you see I repositioned my thread and you see where it is between those two red beads and I'm going to take six green beads and I will go here through this two reds from one side of my work okay I will reposition my thread and I will take five red beads and will be back okay and I have my thread repositioned here and I have five red beads and as I'm exiting between those two beads I'm going in the opposite circle in the same place okay then I will reposition my thread, exit here and take three golden beads. Okay, and I have three goldens and I'm going here in the center between those two beads. Just like that. And now what I do is that I go in circle like I did before so many times. Exit here. the same thing I'm doing all the time 
take two green beads and go here in the center. Okay. When I pull and fix, I have this. Okay. And now, guys, what I want to do is go here in this direction. And you see how I have two beads here from this side. I will go through the first one. And I'm going to take one golden bead. And this is eight of golden. And I'm going through the opposite bead of this one. And in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. Okay, and I pull. Now I have my first bead attached. And I'm going here between those two beads that are in this side. And I'm taking one golden, counting one, two, three beads. And going to the fourth one, which is the, exactly the opposite bead. Because here I have one, two, three, one, two, three. And these are the opposites. And I'm going in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. Okay. It's really easy, but I need to make my beads stay in one direction because they are not completely round. They are like donut shaped. And here I'm still going out between those two beads. Take one golden and I'm going through the opposite one. Okay, pull. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this the same way until the end of this row. If you forgot how I did it, rewind this video and repeat those three steps until the end of this row. And then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here where I need to add my last bead from this row. Okay. And when I add it, my bell is ready. I just need to make some knots and cut my thread. Okay. And I'm making a knot by making a loop, going once, going second time through the loop I've made. Then I'm going through some beads in this direction. And I'm going to repeat these steps. Let's say here. Making a loop. Going once or you could choose to go once if the beads are too small. Then going through the following seed bead. And After that, I cut my thread and my earring is ready. Okay, guys, and now my Christmas beaded bell earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment. And you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.